I'm so tired of them telling us people that who have said a trait that it's benign and it, it, it doesn't do anything. I've seen my mum in this agony before and I, I'm just so I want to make a pain diary. It's probably not going to go, this doesn't happen to me often, I'm not going to lie to you. But I went to sleep with no blanket on because I thought it was a, like a, a really warm night. So I didn't, I didn't have a blanket on, so I went to sleep on the sofa because I've got a hernia. Um, so I, I sleep sometimes on the sofa and sit up when my hernia is really bad. And yeah, like... This time, just it was just too cold. This particular night, and uh, the the thermostat says twenty four degrees, but it doesn't fucking feel like it. I'll tell you that right now. It, it feels freezing. I'm so I'm literally shivering. I've just stopped shivering enough to sort of hold the phone because I was literally like <laughs> that kind of shivering. But yeah, I'm just um. I'm just tired, so I'm, it, I'm gonna make this pain diary. Every time I feel like a sickle trait is causing something, I'm gonna make this diary because I, it's important. It's important that it's recognised as something that maybe not a term call it is a disease. My sister has sickle cell, and the pain that she goes through is crazy fucking madness. But this, this is bad. This is bad. I've been through childbirth and this is bad. We're approaching like pain now, I'm feeling right now. This is approaching childbirth levels of pain. And I'm, I'm, just, I'm tired. I'm tired of them telling us that we don't know our bodies. We know our bodies. We know when something is wrong and something is not okay in my body. And they're telling me that it's mental that I've been through so much pain in my life with some bollocks that it's just manifesting itself. So how do you explain me waking up in waking up? I've had a nice dream. <laughs> had a great dream. And I'm waking up in absolute fucking agony. Are there people with sickle cell? Are they are they um experiencing some what some generational trauma pain or some shit like that's what it's like what are you saying i don't understand because as, as far as the way i understand it is that people with sickle trait we have sickle cells in our body it's not like we we don't have them we have sickle cells and i'm sure with stress or just for whatever reason our, uh, with a mental stress or physical stress our body goes under you can die when you've got sickle trait of basically sickle cell. You can pretty much die if you exert yourself too much. Another day, I spent like two and a half hours scrubbing down my kitchen because my kitchen was nasty, blood. <laughs> it was disgusting because <laughs> I was like really depressed and stuff. So I, I let things go, and um, because my nan died a couple of weeks ago, so it was a bit stressful and upsetting. Um, yeah, after that, them two days of, like, cleaning and all that stuff, like, yeah, things got, like, things got really bad and I've been in pain since then, so, yeah. Anyway, this is, sorry, I'm yapping now. This is day one of my, uh, pain diary and I'm gonna carry on doing this every day. If I, if I feel anything, if I don't feel anything, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, obviously you know, record and stuff, but every time I feel like it's related to this topic, I will, I will record and, and, and see what happens, because somebody has to do something now, it's time, and I'm not talking about white people, because white people don't give, give a damn about black diseases, they don't, let's be realistic, we all know this, like, we have to do this for ourselves, we have to do this, as black people, we have to do it for ourselves. We have to research it ourselves. You know, we have to get African doctors 
African American doctors, you know, um, black British doctors, hopefully, as well, on this thing, and um, figure this shit out because this is ridiculous and like, no, like. I've spoken to so much people, I've been on forums and stuff, and people are suffering out there. And they don't know what to do, and they don't understand, like, what's happening to their bodies, just like me. Now I'm, like, I'm dependent on painkillers, like, literally, because I was having so much pain and stuff, and that's wrong. Like, sorry, I'm just looking at my Chinese. <laughs> I'm so hungry, it's, like, five o'clock in the morning right now. And I'm just, yeah, I'm angry. I'm angry and I'm pissed off, so I'm taking my painkillers now. Let's see what happens. I will let you know tomorrow when I wake up. Um, yeah. It's Louise. Signing out. Um, yeah. See you guys soon.